Hello mga Kaarki, welcome to this special video series of Wealth Arki entitled Global Investing for the Filipino Investor, which is done in partnership with AXA Philippines. Kasama natin dito sa video series na to si Mr. Dexter Agkawili, who is the Investment Solutions Director of AXA Philippines and the country representative to Arkitas Asia, an asset management company of the AXA Group. Check out the video description for the links to all the five episodes of this video series. That's it for my intro. Let's begin. Hello mga Karki, kamusta kayo? Hello. Yeah. Hello. I hope you're all doing well and uh, welcome dito sa ating special video series. Kamusta Renzi? Okay naman. Well, just recently meron akong meeting with a with a client and natuwa ako at natuwa siya. <laughs> Bakit naman siya natuwa? Kasi uh, well uh, ina-advise ko siya no on his ano on his portfolio. Ngayon we just had a review nung portfolio niya lang sa akin now. Kaya ako natuwa at kaya siya natuwa kasi positive yung portfolio namin. So yun nung ni-review namin yung 2020 ano niya portfolio, positive siya. At malaki yung positive niya, ha? positive 12%. Ah, oh, di ba? 12%. Hindi bakit, ano, bakit hindi negative. Naging... Bakit naging positive oh. yung portfolio niya? Ano yung isa sa mga strategies na ginawa niya? Well, uh, since I know naman na a lot of his portfolio nasa local funds, we opted for this particular portfolio to go offshore. Yun. Oh, okay. Tama, <laughs> Kaya positive no? 12% kami. Versus ano ba? Kasi, kumaga, nung kinumpara ko with the PSEI last year, mga minus 8%. Diba? So, hindi na masama. Yung from minus 8, positive yung portfolio. Kaya, tuwan-tuwa siya. At tuwan-tuwa rin ako, syempre. Alright. So, that's actually one of the reasons why we created this uh, special video series which is all about global investing for the Filipino investor. Right? So, for the mm-hmm. next uh, several episodes or next several videos dito sa ating channel, we will be featuring or we will be talking about different uh, aspects of investing in the global or international markets. And uh, meron tayong special guest, meron tayong kasama, di ba? Oh, syempre, yung isa sa mga separated at birth ko din to, eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sige. So, uh, excited na akong tawagin siya dito sa ating video, but uh, let's make a formal introduction first of our guest dito sa ating video. Our guest today has been in the financial services industry for about 20 years, starting wow. as an investment analyst. Grabe. So, he was a fund manager of Metrobank Trust Banking Group when he began to handle investment portfolios of insurance companies, pension funds, and endowment plans. His experience in the asset management and trust business includes business development, institutional account management, and advisory. He was the first Chief Investment Officer of AXA Philippines and he is responsible for rolling out AXA Philippines flagship investment funds such as the Chinese Tycoon, Global Advantage Fund, the Global Dynamic Allocation Funds, and most recently, the peso-denominated dollar funds of AXA Philippines. So he is now the Investment Solutions Director of AXA Philippines and the Country Representative to Arkitas Asia, which is an asset management firm of the AXA Group. So let's welcome si Dexter Agawili. All right. Hello, Dexter. Hello, Hello. mga ka Kahit walang sound yung palakpak mo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, well, 20 mga years ka na pala. 20 years, parang hindi halata. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oo, grabe. No? Ano kaya ang sikreto ni Dexter sa kanyang ano? Uh, youthful uh, face. Ganun eh, no? <laughs> Oo nga. Kaya kailangan lang mag, ano, mag-hilamos araw-araw. <laughs> so sa mga laging nanonood sa atin sa Wealth Archie, 
of course, familiar face na itong si Dexter kasi may mm-hmm. ilang videos na rin tayo na nakausap natin si Dexter tap- tungkol sa global investing. But we decided mm-hmm. for uh, this year to create a video series. And uh, siguro for our first episode, I would like to define ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng global investing ang ibig sabihin ng mga global funds. So basically, ako, nag-invest ako locally. So ibig sabihin, mm. local investing lang yung ginagawa ko. Kaya ko bang mag-invest globally kahit na nasa Pilipinas ako? So those are the questions that we will try to answer uh, in this episode. So let's, let's start with defining ano ba yung difference ng local investing sa global, sa global investing. investing. Yes. So, Ako bang mag-start? <laughs> yes. Oh. Go. Uh, okay. Ano yung difference so, ng local and global investing? Yes. Okay. So, Fitz, as you rightly pointed out, uh, when we talk of local, dito, yung mga assets that we're investing in dito, may be stocks, bonds, or even real estate, local investing. Now, pag sinabi mong global, ito yung uh, really outside of the country and hindi lang sa isang lugar, so hindi lang sa isang uh, country outside, like maybe US, but rather uh, in different parts of the globe. Minsan kasi ang um, usual inisip natin, oy, invested na ako sa US. Global na yun. Kung tutuusin, hindi naman talaga dahil more of, you're in a particular region, like the Northern American uh, region. So that is still Concentrated. Parang concentrated ka. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero pagdating naman sa global, it's really in different parts of the world. Oh, and I understand also, Dexter, no? Bukod sa global investing on a per, you know, kunari, uh, you have there North America, tapos pwede may kasama na Europe. Parang you can also have, you know, different themes and flavors as well pagdating sa global investing. Tama ba? Yes, yes. Um, so different themes could be, uh, as pinaka-basic is, say, mm. talaga indexing, tracking in certain indices sa different mm. parts of the world. So, pwede kang magkaroon ng global fund, pero mm. ang ini-invest niya lang is mga market indices ng different parts of the um, globe. Like, merong nasa US, tapos merong nasa mm. Europe, merong nasa Asia. Tapos, meron na mga talagang actively managed uh, types of funds na merong um, themes din. Na pwedeng mm. medyo may tech, ano, tech, tech, global tech fund. May mga ganun tayong narin- ah. nakikita rin sa, sa industriya ngayon, eh, di ba? So, merong oh. US tech, merong global tech rin. Or, or pwede rin merong mm. Asian tech. So, ayun, ito yung mga themes naman na, na pwede natin mm. makita. Uh, but I think one thing na dapat ma-highlight natin is that one is yung global is really more of not just looking at one particular region, but really mm. uh, across the globe siya invested. Exciting. Tapos, pwede kang magkaroon yung mga different themes din. Oh, exciting. So, parang ano, no? Parang... Ano ba? Goodbye pond, hello ocean, pag global investing. <laughs> diba? Kasi pag Philippine market, diba? It, ito yung pond eh. Pero pag global investing, hmm. hello ocean ka na, diba? Ang dami-dami ng ano. May mga libro ako nabasa about uh, hmm. investing and a lot of financial analysts usually advise na kung gusto mo ng relatively safe investment for the long term, you should go for hmm. an index fund. So, syempre, kung mm-hmm. nasa Pilipinas ka, meron akong nakausap na client nun na gusto daw niya sundin yung, yung, anong yun, yung advice na yun. So, ang ginawa mm-hmm. niya, nag-invest siya sa tatlong index fund, pero lahat nasa Pilipinas. So, sabi ko, mm-hmm. uh, parang wala masyadong okay. diferensya yung ginawa mo. Kasi, <laughs> puro local index fund eh. Kasi, akala niya, akala niya, diversified na siya. Kasi, meron siyang local, meron siyang index fund sa isang banko, meron siyang index fund sa isang mutual fund, tapos meron siyang ah. index fund sa isang um, insurance company. So sabi niya, ayan, diversified na ako. So that is a common mistake, which means mm. pag talagang global investing or you want to invest in a global fund, you have to ask kung ano ba yung composition ng portfolio ng fund na kung saan ka mag invest But I think yes. one of the reasons then kung bakit uh, hindi nakapag-invest globally is because there are barriers for Filipinos when it comes to global investing. Ako, I would say, mm. late ko na rin 
nalaman niya eh, na pwede pala ako mag-invest sa ibang economies. Kasi nung hmm. nagsisimula ako mag-aral sa pag-i-invest, ang alam ko lang talaga, syempre... How many years ago yan? How many years mga, ago? Kasi, kasi mga four years ago... Na, first, okay. <laughs> Nung graduate ako ng college, four years ago, <laughs> ang, ang alam ko lang na investments na usually nabibigay sa akin na advice is mm. yung, of course, Philippine stock market. Tapos mm. I've, I've uh, encountered yung mga UITF and mutual fund na mm. most of the time, ano rin, no? sa local market, local bond, yeah, yeah, government right. bonds, corporate bonds in the Philippines, etc. Much mm. later ko lang nalaman yung opportunities na meron, meron pala akong, pwede pala akong mag-invest globally. So, mm. it made me wonder, bakit siya hindi masyadong popular? Ano ba yung mga barriers mm. ng Filipinos right. when it comes to global investing? So, ano ba yung mga napapansin ninyo? Uh, siguro, Ay, ako siguro, red simula. Una, una okay. muna si Dexter kasi mas matagal to. 20 years na to sa industry. <laughs> Oh, sige, okay, okay, sige, okay, sige, experience sige, 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 uh, hmm. since uh, familiar ako more of e- local equities, yung macroeconomic environment ng Philippines, mas tansyado ko. So, sige, dito. I'll, I can just manage it between fixed income, equities, even mag-stock pick pa ako. No? Uh, so, ito yung uh, tawag dito is home bias dahil sanay ka, familiar ka na dito lang sa Philippines mag-invest. So, sige, dito ka naka-invest. Ano, Pero, yun nga eh, um, Kung titingnan pa nga natin, ang next next uh, popular reason why hindi nag invest globally is as simple as wala akong dollar account. Kung mababalikan nyo, mm. di ba mga seven years back, restricted yung pagbili natin ng dollars, di ba? So, yeah, unless nagtatravel ka, hindi ka mag-keep ng dollar account mo. Or mm. kung tipong nag-start ka na mag, ano, mag-invest globally or yung mga dollars na may makukuha mo mula sa mga bonds na... Uh, interest ng bonds na nakukuha mo, yung coupons, ayun na lang, kinikip mo yung dollars to be also invested globally. Pero yung the lack of access to dollars before, dahil mahirap, mm. dahil nga maraming restrictions, that that contributed to it. Iba um, talaga pag 20 years or, na eh, no? <laughs> pag 20 years na. <laughs> Isa pa na, Ikaw? huli na. Ah, yes. Information. Kasi, yes. oh, pa ayaw mo mag-invest kapag hindi mo alam pa, di ba? Uh, mm, dati, nice. dati nung nagsimula ako, wala pa ganong <laughs> internet. Dahil <laughs> uh, wala pa ng information, di ba? E uh, yun, i-type mo lang, mahanap mo na yung information uh, on different kinds of funds outside. Yeah. The access to information also important. Pupunta ka pa ba ng library para mag-ano? Mag-ano? Yung pari ko. <laughs> yeah, tingin ko yun yung mga tapos yan nga uh, bukod pa doon feeling nila mahal mag-invest pag sa dollar di ba or pag offshore kailangan mo ng mga 1 million mm. di ba before if you wanna invest offshore kailangan muna maging valued client ka ng banko muna di ba mga magkano ba balance mo or dapat oh. super valued client ka rin ng isang multinational bank eh magkano ba maging mm value client na multinational bank for you to get that ano diba that uh, global and offshore footprint so the barriers is mataas whereas ngayon super ano na super baba na ng barrier i mean there are funds going in already na may offshore component tapos mm-hmm. yung iba minimum diba baba lang ng minimum ngayon eh parang may 1000 ata ako nakita oh, one time basta super baba na lang oh, oh. Oh. so mas ano barrier bumababa na ngayon what I understand dun sa sinabi ninyo, no, na the reason why a lot of Filipinos don't invest in the global markets is because, uh, number one, merong home bias. Dahil, syempre, if you look at the mm. newspaper, you watch the news, it's all about, uh, pagdating sa business and finance, no, it's really mm. about the local market. Minsan, headline pa pag uh, merong nangyaring 
significant sa Philippine stock market. Pero pag merong, kunwari, malaking nangyari or big news sa US stock market, for example, hindi siya nasa headline. Usually nasa first page lang nung business uh, section ng ng Jario, no? That's right. And uh, so, yun yung isa sa mga reason kung ba't nag-create ng home bias. But as mentioned by Renzi, in, in recent years, nagkakaroon na tayo ng awareness na aside from the Philippine or Asian market, there are opportunities that exist in other markets as, other markets as well. And kapag mababa ang Asian market or ang Philippine market, it doesn't mean na mababa lahat ng markets in the world, which means mm-hmm. if we have access, for example, sa European market or sa, uh. sa North American market, pwede tayong uh, kumita ng pera or pwede natin mapalaki yung portfolio natin kahit na yung local market natin ay very sluggish or sideways. Tama. tama those tama. barriers are slowly uh, breaking down, I would say, kasi unang-una, <laughs> hindi natin kailangan ng malaking pera para mag-invest. I think mm. dati, if you want to open a, an account, you have to contact a foreign broker or a foreign company, you have to create mm-hmm. an offshore account, which is, yeah, the reason why I am able to trade uh, Forex is because medyo naglakas ako ng loob years ago, magbukas ng isang account sa isang Forex broker na foreign and mm-hmm. open an offshore account. Pero syempre, not everyone is has that risk tolerance na magpapadala ka ng pera sa ibang bansa, sa isang That's opisina right. na hindi mo pa nabibisita. Oh, and, familiarity, di ba? Parang kumaga, parang, yeah. ako, baka legit ba itong kumpanya na ito mag-work yes. transfer ako, di ba? So, medyo talagang, ano ba, may anxiety, even ambivalent sometimes na, teka, legit ba itong kumpanya na papadala ko ng pera? Tama. Hmm. And pagdating sa global investing or investing in the global markets, Ang first impression din is kailangan ko ng dollars para makapag-invest dyan. And kung sumisweldo ka ng peso, parang may hassle ka pang extra step na ano, magko-convert ka pa to dollar. Siguro, one question I'm curious is, pwede ka pa mag-invest sa global markets kahit na Philippine peso lang yung meron ka? Yan. Yeah. Dexter? Actually, yeah. Mm. Actually, ano, um, that has been a growing trend for the past uh, three to four years uh, where mga asset managers have uh, began to offer maybe a UITF or a mutual fund or even a variable unit link uh, fund na denominated in pesos so ang sub- pag subscribe mo pesos and then uh, invested in dollars um so uh, there has been a number and uh, axa also recently launched a uh, peso denominated global funds you know i share ko lang no isang magandang um, development kasi recently then is how uh, the central bank has liberalize again the FX uh, purchases, mm-hmm. not just for individuals, but also institutional. And that has helped, uh, like, okay, pwede, it makes sense now to create a peso denominated na uh, mutual fund or unit investment class fund or uh, unit link fund na peso, pero invested globally kasi ang um, hindi na siya restricted pagdating dun sa number of uh, millions of dollars sa pwedeng ma- ma-purchase in one year. So, yun. Mm. Isang magandang, ano, magandang uh, evolution rin ng, ano, ng regulation natin. Napakalaking uh, factor ng convenience and mm. in recent years, mas nagiging convenient na and accessible ang mag-invest sa global funds. So, yung mga dating mga barriers sa mga Pinoy na, mm. na napuipigil sa kanila na mag-invest sa global markets ay unti-unti nawawala na ngayon mas nagiging madali na and na mention mo kanina Dexter no AXA has a Philippine denominated uh, fund or na nagiinvest in the global markets yes. so can you tell more about that and uh, i'm sure our, a lot of our viewers are also interested in how can they invest in that fund 
Mm. So uh, AXA recently launched uh, four uh, global funds that are peso denominated and kumbaga peso version to the mga uh, kilalang global funds namin eh. So we yeah. we have the uh, our flagship AXA Global Advantage Fund, which is invested uh, essentially in U.S. technology. So it, that has been a very successful fund of ours, and we created the peso version of it. Um, so, ang kinaganda nun, again, it's um, our customers don't have to buy a new dollar policy just to be diversified globally, but rather kahit yung existing regular pay unit link niya o kaya existing single pay uh, unit link policy niya, pwede na siya mag-shift part of it into um, global into our global advantage fund. That's one. Okay. And we also have our uh, our AXA global dynamic allocation funds. Mm. So tatlong funds to. Uh, merong global fixed income, global balance, at global equities. And it's invested across the five major regions. Uh, ito yung US, Europe, Asia, Japan, and emerging markets. And uh, it's actively managed. Itong three funds na to, are actively managed funds na nag, nag reallocate along the, uh, uh, across those five major regions. So fixed income, global fixed income para doon sa mga uh, re- relatively conservative and meron kami mm-hmm. global multi-asset or what well, commonly known as a balanced fund may fixed income and equity. Um, and then we have uh, medyo aggressive na equities na or we call it AXA uh, global dynamic allocation funds growth yung ano yung global equities so in total we have three global funds and we have our uh, global advantage fund na now available in peso so of course uh, if yung mga kaarki natin na nanonood gusto nilang um, malaman pa if they want more information about the global yes. funds that AXA is offering then they can talk to a AXA financial partner today. So kanina inilabas ko yung ating uh, marquee dyan sa baba. So they can just go to axa.com.ph slash appointments or ayan, dahil high-tech tayo, mm-hmm. meron tayong Yan. QR code. So they can just scan the QR code and uh, they will go to the website where they can fill up a form and an AXA financial partner can contact them. But uh, very exciting news sa mga existing na AXA clients kasi sabi nga ni Dexter, <clears throat> yung kanilang mga mga investments, pwede na nilang i-shift no? or i-transfer towards the global funds that you are offering. And sabi mo nga, hindi na nila kailangan mag-convert to peso kasi eh, to, to dollars para mag-invest dahil meron din kayong peso denominated na funds who, which invests in the global markets. To summarize yung na-discuss natin dito sa episode na to, of course, we have the Philippine market, which is our mm. local, where we usually invest when we say we are investing in local funds. And sayang kung puro Philippine market ka lang yes. invest there's a bigger world out there where yes. we can diversify yung portfolio natin and take advantage of movements in the global market. Goodbye, and... Pan. Goodbye, Pan. Hello, Ocean. Ocean. <laughs> so, before, nung panahon ninyong dalawa, napakahirap pa mag-invest <laughs> sa global funds. But fortunately, in recent years, maraming financial institutions, including yeah, the Philippines, right which is making it more convenient and more accessible for Filipinos na mag-invest sa global markets. And again, if they want to check out ano ba yung mga opportunities na ino-offer ng uh, AXA Philippines, they can just scan the QR code or go to the the website na nag-flash na sa screen natin, which is axa.com.ph slash appointments. And uh, they can talk to an AXA financial partner. So that's it for our first episode. Ang second episode yes. natin, we will discuss more yung reasons kung bakit ka ba dapat nag invest in the global market. So mga ka salamat sa panonood dito sa ating special video series on global investing for the Filipino investor. At uh, kita-kita tayo sa episode 2. Alright? So, <laughs> bye-bye. Bye-bye. Star Wars lang ha. <laughs> oh, oh. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-b
Thanks. Thank you. Mga Karki, as we learned, global investing may just be the key to reaching your financial goals. But remember to study your options first and work with a trusted financial institution. Reach out to an AXA financial partner today and we will help you create your global investing game plan.